Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday on Uncle Bob's Bell Buckle Bear Reviews. And I got a brew for you today out of Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, it's from the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel. Uh, well, it's it's brewed and packaged by Lexington Brewing and Distilling Company, Lexington, Kentucky, and Grand Rapids, Michigan, is what it says on here. Um, I've had several of these bourbon barrel brews out of Kentucky. Uh, the beer of bourbon country, so that's what it says on the label here. Um, LexingtonBrewingCo.com if you want to check them out online. Uh, this is Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Tart Cherry Wheat. Wheat ale brewed with tart cherries and aged in oak bourbon barrels at an 8% ABV. Now, I've had several of these brews, different kinds, and I've enjoyed them all. They've all been very high in alcohol content, which 8% is pretty high. Uh, this is the first one I've seen like this. Um, you know, I, when you talk about wheat ale and cherry, to me that sounds pretty good. Uh, I like a little bit of tartness sometimes in beer. The tart cherry doesn't bother me. And I'm just wondering what the bourbon barrel will add to the flavor of this one here. Uh, I saw this, I, I only saw it in a single, so I picked it up. I give $4 for the bottle uh, at a liquor store there in Murfreesboro. But uh, we're gonna try this today on a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. And I'm thinking, looking at it, I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit hazy, which I expect out of a wheat beer to be hazy. It looks like it's got a little bit of sediment in the bottom of it. I, just a little bit is what I can detect there visually. But let's see what we got here. I might just try this right here. It's going to be something a little different. Got a horse on the Kentucky bourbon barrel yep it's a little hazy uh, it's also a little pinkish just a little pinkish look at that you can you, I, I hope y'all can appreciate the, the pink tint to that um, it's hazy and got a pink tint to it now I can't y'all the sun's just bright as crap I can't really tell on the camera what it looks like but it's got a pinkish tint to it it's, it's just sitting here And I'm getting just a hint of a bourbon aroma coming off of it. But I don't, man, I've got to pour. Oh, shoot. Dadgummit, I forgot to give it a swish. But I'm, I'm going to lose that head. I'm not going to be able to taste the head if I don't hurry. Dadgummit. I may not get it. I may not get a taste of it. I got a little bit. I was able to get just a little bit of taste of the head because it's just too far in there. But I got just a little, just a little bit of a bourbon flavor out of the head. Um, it's a pretty hazy brew with kind of a, I, I don't know, it, it, it had a pinkish tint when I was pouring it off, but it kind of looks like a just a, a hazy kind of amber color now uh, that I'm attributing to the cherries perhaps it's not I mean I I can't really see anything through it so it's hazy enough not to see anything through it but it's very translucent and it's a pretty brew nice beautiful white head on that thing to have the color that it is um, you know a lot of times a, a darker beer will have a, a tannish head uh, where this is just a bright bright foam and a a hazy amber color to it. And I'm getting just a, I'm not getting any cherry at all out of the aroma, but just a very, very slight bourbon aroma. Just very slight. It's almost undetectable, y'all. It's very, 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 very subtle. All right, so let's try this. This, this would be interesting. 
This uh, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Tart Cherry Wheat Ale out of Lexington, Kentucky and Grand Rapids, Michigan is what it says on the bottle. This is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for joining in today. And first of all, thank you for the hard work that you do as well. Uh, paying your own way and supporting yourselves and your families just like I do. Not depending on our stinking, worthless, dadgum, gross-adelic government. <laughs> I got no use for them, y'all. Vote every damn one of them out when you get a chance to. Because they ain't on our side. That, that's obvious from the actions they've taken. You know, with the hurricanes and everything. They're not on our side. Vote them all out. They can't do the right thing. It's obvious from the way they give our money away to other countries and all this other garbage. They're not on our side. Vote them all out until we get somebody in there that's on our side. That's just the way it is. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, independent, liberal, uh, conservative, moderate, progressive, whatever. It don't matter. Ain't none of them on our side, y'all. Ain't none of them. They may say they are, but they ain't, obviously. You know, when somebody tells you who they are, believe them. And they've showed us, all, they, they all have showed us who they are, believe them and vote them out. Cheers, brothers and sisters. I love y'all. Wow, that's freaking good. It is totally different from anything I have ever had, but it's good. Um, I am getting just a very subtle, subtle bourbon flavor in them in it, in them, getting a very, very subtle flavor of bourbon, and also just an almost undetectable cherry flavor. I mean, I, I'm not getting much of the cherry at all. But it's delicious. I'm getting just a little, just a little bit of note of cherry, but I'm not getting the tartness. It says tart cherry. I'm not really getting the tartness. I'm getting the bourbon and just a little tiny hint of the cherry. Um, but it's so easy to drink, y'all. It's 8% ABV. A lot of these are bourbon barrel aged brews from Kentucky Bourbon Barrel are, are um, a little more, uh, a little higher in the alcohol content. This one's an 8%, but man, the flavor is just unique. Uh, and I'm glad I got this, man. This is good. It's got kind of a medium mouthfeel, um, but the flavor is just something so different from anything I've ever had. Now, I couldn't sit down, you know, and watch a, a football game and drink a six pack of this. Um, it's a little bit on the, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not really heavy, but it's not light either. Uh, this would be something I couldn't drink too much of. Uh, it's got the, it's got a fruitiness to it, all right? But it's not, I'm not really detecting cherry, but I'm detecting, you know, a fruity type flavor coming off of it. With just, I mean, the bourbon is just, it's there, but it's not real strong. It's a little bit of a bourbon and and a little bit of cherry, but mostly a fruity type note to it. Uh, I'm not getting any breadiness off the wheat of it at all. I mean, nothing like that. It's easy to going down. It's easy to drink. It's a little bit, a little bit on the heavy side. It's not something I could drink a lot of. I'm glad I got it in a single. Um, but it is good. I'm going to score it an A minus. <clears throat> and that's, that's enough said. I'm going to score it an A minus. Uh, uh, if you see this uh, bourbon barrel tart cherry, uh, give it a shot if you ain't never. Uh, I, I love cherry anything. That's one of the main reasons I picked it up. But I'm not getting a whole lot of cherry out of the flavor of it. But that's okay. It's still a good brew. Uh, it's still a good brew and, and worth a try if you've never tried it, okay? So, all right, y'all. That's been a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday this week.
I'll be back tomorrow for a Tennessee Thursday Thursday. I love and appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers.